Hi everyone, in this video we'll be looking at steganography. So there's something I only found out about last week, which is a bit embarrassing because I've been using computers for quite a long time. Anyway, here's a Wikipedia page about it. So steganography is the art and science of writing hidden messages in such a way that no one apart from the sender and intended recipient suspects the existence of the message. A form of security through obscurity. So the program I'll be using is called Steghide technography program that is able to hide data in various kinds of image and audio files. The colour or sample frequencies are not changed, thus making the embedding resistant against first order statistical tests. So it features so it's compression of the embedded data, the encryption of embedded data, checksum to verify the integrity of extracted data, and it supports JPEG, bitmap, WAVE and AU files. So Ubuntu and Debian users can get it through the software centre or Synaptic Package Manager. So I've got a couple of pictures here. This is one I took from my back garden, so it was last October. Everything seemed to be steaming that morning. I thought it was quite a nice effect, and so I took a few photos of it. So I'll start with the reference. So I've also converted it to a bitmap, and this is the test picture I'll be using. So they're all the same, they all look completely the same there. So if you use the terminal for steg hide, just type in steg hide initially. So it gives you instructions here. So of embedding and extracting the data. And that's how to use it. So to give you an idea of how much data you can put in a picture, so let's get steg hide. There's info. Let me just drag the picture down. So I put start with a JPEG, press enter. So that can hide 171 kilobits of data. Not bad. Oops, I press the wrong key there, but it's still accepted no. So the other one we'll try is with the bitmap. That's a lot larger. See so that's 28 meg compared to 3 meg. That's BMP. So that can hold 1.2 meg of data. That's a bit more. Now what we're trying to hide in here. Shakespeare's Macbeth. So that's the full sort of script of Macbeth here. Just quick scroll down there. So that's just plain text. How many lines is that? 3,600 lines. Wow. Quite a bit. So what we do is type in steg hide and then embed dash cf. So the picture that I want is start we we'll just do it the JPEG and then type in the dash dash EF for what you want to embed. So again I just click on these and drag them over to the terminal window so it fills in all the sort of name and path location there. And press enter. It asks me for a passphrase, I'll just put something simple in here. Hello. Re enter it. Hello. There it is, it's embedded. Let's just delete the bitmap. You can see the date's changed now on that, so it's now Saturday 19th of March, 4 o'clock. Let's look at the original picture. That's the original. And we'll scroll down to the test one. Can't see the difference. Original and test. No difference there, can't see it. that old. So now we extract the data. So type in steg hide. Type in steg hide. And it's extract dash sf and the file. So again I just click and drag that there. Press enter. So ask me for the passphrase. That's what I typed earlier. Hello. It's already extracted data. And there it is, it's retrieved it. Expect that's the same. Oh, it's the same size 102.7, 102.7 kilobits. So, how would you know that's been tampered with? Well, there's one way of telling is with the MD5 sum. MD5 sum. I'll just highlight that. I'll hold down control and highlight the other one, drag them both over. 
So MD5 some sort of tests like the integrity of the file, builds up a key based on sort of the size and contents of the file. So it's produced two different keys for the pictures, but we can tell from that is that the file's been changed. You can't tell what the change is. So that's what sort of change could happen like if you downloaded a file off the internet and something was corrupted. Again, that would give a sort of similar reading as that. The two would be different. Anyway, that's a quick video on how to do steganography and using the Steghide program in Linux. As I said, other programs are available for Windows. In fact, they're a bit easier because they produce the graphical user interface in Windows. You won't have to do this terminal stuff. So it's a shame I could get a program in Linux to do the graphical user interface. Did find one, tried to compile it, but to be honest, it was so old and there was missing dependencies. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up, like the video, and subscribe. I'll see you later.